When Blue Reflection first released in 2017, I'm not sure what JRPG fans expected from the experience. Its identity was presented as a magical girl adventure, but its narrative themes were so much more. Those who played were surprised by the relationships and emotional story beats brought together by some intense boss battles. However, with the upcoming release of Blue Reflection Second Light, everything seems to be clear as to what the series is. And although it may still have its magical girl charm, this is very much a drama. Blue Reflection Second Light introduces Ao Hashizaki, who doesn't quite fit into the world she's a part of. It's presented as her wanting something exciting to happen, but I can't help but feel like it's more than that. The game itself doesn't waste time as Ao wakes up three days after she and a group of three other girls woke up in a school without their memory. While they can recall their names, they aren't sure how they arrived at this place or when they'll ever return home. The opening chapter features a few flashbacks to get you caught up to speed, but it doesn't feel unnecessary. I enjoyed the pacing and learning how they came across these rings that summoned weapons to fight against monsters that appeared in the land in the school known as Far Away. What's more interesting is how they discovered their path forward. Their memories are essential to them, and when they learn that they may be buried deep inside the Far Away, well, they muster up the courage and march forward. I think this idea of exploring memories will be the highlight of the experience as each girl appears to be suppressing some kind of emotion. However, they also fill an integral role in the group and rely on each other to move forward. I'm interested to see how new characters are handled and if they will carry the same weight as this first group. The battle system has been streamlined as the characters are tied to the face buttons of the controller. It's an interesting system that took some getting used to as a timeline gauge increases throughout the battle. When enough EP is available, you can unleash a series of attacks and abilities. These can also be combined with other party members. In execution, it's really flashy, but it's also fast, demanding an understanding of the genre. There are other aspects of the adventure that I like. For starters, field exploration has been updated to allow more ways to interact with the environment. You can climb, crawl, and even sneak past strong enemies by avoiding their line of sight. Further, you can collect ingredients used to craft and cook that tie into quests and add buffs to the characters. It's not as deep as Atelier crafting systems, but it's enough to warrant item collecting. Graphically, a lot has been put into the animations of these characters, but some large sections of the school appear a bit empty, but this may be filled up later with the option to build structures. That said, I wouldn't mind a run option, but there's an included auto text option, so I'll take what I can get. The characters themselves are expressive of their personalities. It's clear though, Kokoro is best girl, by the way, but you can have your opinions. Blue Reflection Second Light sets an emotional stage of addressing memories that might not be the most comfortable. It's charming and fun to watch these girls overcome hardships and work together, but there seems to be many obstacles that stand in their way. This is a game all about its narrative, and although the battle system is unique, you should know that the character interactions take the spotlight in this adventure, and I'm okay with that. Blue Reflection Second Light is coming to PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC on November 9th, 2021. Thanks for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.